<laughs> this guy, he comes into the clinic, right, with the, with the broken arm. I ask him, how'd you break your arm? This is what he tells me. Exact words. He says, an evil force grabbed hold of me. <laughs> you got that? An evil force. Honey, you're making fun of your patients. It's very unprofessional. He tells me it's a poltergeist. <laughs> a poltergeist. He says he's been doing battle with it in his house. He swear to God it's going to kill him. Chris, stop. Sandy's right. I've investigated enough of these poltergeist hauntings to know the kind of damage they can do. This is not the kind of thing you make fun of. In fact, I will tell you this. I saw one of those yesterday. No kidding. Got a hot house in San Ysidro where I'm working right now. The place is being torn to shreds. The family's in tatters. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what's unbelievable. These marshmallows. I don't know what gourmet nooks and crannies you shop in, Heidi, but these are insane. Well, you can thank Bunny for those. She brought that new brand home from work. How's life at Boxing Safe? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Uh, clean up on aisle four. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my room. There's a difference between painful shyness and other lack of personality. I don't know, I'm, I'm just not convinced it's the best idea, but this is wearing on me. I mean, she's, she's a shut-in. She goes to work, she goes to her room. She goes to work, she goes to her room. I mean, she has always lived with you. Leland. Well, it's, what, is, is she part of the package when we move in together? I can help her. A personality transplant will really help your sister Heidi. I've seen them work. Have you lost your mind? To the tune of millions of dollars per year as the number three paranormal investigator in the U.S. of A. Uh, could, could you be my donor? I, I mean, you are so beautiful. You're so driven, successful, and outspoken. I, I mean, you, you're just like the, the whole package. Yes. You agreed to hold plasma trope harmless in the event of a transplant-related rejection. Did you read this? Yes. Sign. You acknowledge and understand that said procedure is permanent and that you agreed to join plasma tropes research program for life. Did you read this? Yes. Sign. Joyce, you and I have known each other for a lot of years. And you have a tendency to jump without looking. Are you absolutely certain this is right for her? Yes, absolutely. I need this. I need her strength. Everybody has their own kind of strength, Miss Hendricks. You don't need a personality transplant to find it. Our meeting is your last chance to decline. Do you have any doubt? All right, ladies, relax and breathe normally. I'm going out for a walk and I'll be back. You're not staying in the house? Why in the hell would I do something like that? really just clears the air. I realized I do not have to keep my mouth shut about things. Things like, how come people think that I'm a freak just because I am quiet? Or how come people think I am dumb as a box of rocks just because I do not talk all the time? And occasionally, yes, I do find people annoying and frustrating. And where am I? Who loves Bunny? Bunny, she's the one sitting in the corner. Why? Because she's quirky. And then who am I? I mean, there are doctors, there are lawyers, there are physicians, there are metaphysical physicians. And what am I? I am just a cash register. I am just a cashier at the box and saves who occasionally just, just brings home marshmallows. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me what you think. Stand up for yourself. All right, um. I'm, I'm really mad at my mother and my our, our mother and our father for naming me Bunny. Who names their daughter Bunny? B U N N E Y. Who does that? My parents. Your parents. That's it. 
Break out of your shell. This is what we wanted for you all along. It's what you deserve. Once you get past this, it's a whole new world for you. You had a major epiphany today. I'm so proud of you. That deserves another hug. 